Napoleon is the reason you shouldn't go into movies expecting greatness because I am severely disappointed. Now, I enjoyed the film well enough, but just comparing it to my expectations, it fell so flat. And honestly, should have expected that from the reviews, but yeah, that, that, um, that wasn't great. So, don't get me wrong, I still liked it, and let's get on with the positives, because this is the most, or at least one of, the most visually striking movies of the year. The cinematography is bold and striking, the visuals are phenomenally done, the sound design, the size and scope, the atmosphere of the film, the way it looked on the big screen was incredible. On so many levels, it just, it looked phenomenal. So cinematic effects, it gets a 10 out of 10 because it made you feel the war in your freaking stomach. It, it was great. Now, getting to some of the negatives here, just a little bit of them before we get on with more positive stuff because I didn't hate this movie. Um, the, feel, the film feels like it cares more about the relationship between Napoleon and his wife Josephine than any of the big historical epicness we're actually here to see. So... It feels like it feels like it's trying to be a character study of Napoleon Bonaparte while also being a historical epic and it just doesn't add up together. It's weird. Joaquin Phoenix is one of the best direct actors working today. Ridley Scott is one of the best directors of all time and this is about the, one of the most complex men to ever exist and walk this earth. What went wrong? Just, I don't know. It's, it's just very, very shocking how... How this movie fell so flat from the expectations that I had. But Joaquin Phoenix, as I already said, is one of the best actors working today. And he's coming off an Oscar win for Joker. And he's giving 110% with his performance here. And he's awesome. He is probably one of the best parts of this entire movie. And it just, he was phenomenal. The Waterloo, the Waterloo sequence, impeccable. But I'm kind of immensely disappointed because... It could have been something so much better. I know I've said that for the last couple of movies that I've seen, but these films have just been disappointment upon disappointment upon disappointment. So I give this around a 7 out of 10.